Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mabutle, or you can either call me Butle O M for those who are new, of course. And I'm sure you guys are wondering why I'm wearing a hoodie while it's so hot. It's literally summer, but I just came to show you guys this hoodie that I got today. It's a Coke hoodie, as you guys can see from here. And I just want to describe how cool this hoodie is. But let's just start with the quality, okay? Oh, and just to address the elephant in the room, I am not working for Coke as yet. I am praying and hoping that one day I will be working for Coke. First of all, I really love the quality of the jacket. It's so silky. I do not know what this material is exactly. Um, I, I do not know. Oh. It has some sort of silky sort of feel, but I do not think that this is necessarily silk. I feel like a lot of businesses are really based on making these type of materials, especially for black hoodies, because I really hate it when it gets to the point where all the lint comes out. By the way, lint is those small gray balls or gray or black balls, whatever, that come from the material of the jacket, which spoils everything. And it's pretty thick. Honestly, I love the thickness of it. It's actually really warm. I must say, I am definitely ready for autumn and winter. Well, partially. I also love the design. I feel like the design actually steals the show. This is a Amapiano hoodie, by the way. And yes, I do definitely listen to Amapiano here and there. TikTok plays a role with that, but yeah. And then it also has Zulu words as well, which I don't really want to pronounce because my Zulu is really, really bad. I'm really sorry. You guys are going to end up laughing at me. And I'm just really happy that I got this. This is how it is on the inside. It has a teddy jacket type of material, which makes sense as to why it is warm and also thick. Here are the Zulu words as well. There's another one that I actually under know, like I know what it means. And I'm not gonna say what it means because what if I'm wrong as well. So moving on to other things. I really want to be more serious with my Instagram than last year. So I will be making sort of a schedule for this week on two social media platforms that I'll be focusing on which is Instagram and TikTok. I do not necessarily know what I'll be doing for TikTok, but I do know what I'll be doing for Instagram. I have um, content that I need to post for the fall, and I already started with the halter pink dress that you guys saw from my previous video. I posted a reel for that, uh, yeah. And I will be going with the orange top from the full that orange reddish top that i went for i will also be showing you guys if you are new here and haven't seen it from my second video i'm thinking of pairing it up with my orange glasses or shades from the fix and my jeans that are also from the full and the brown bag because i feel like brown and orange really complement each other very well yeah 
but if the denim jeans do not work out i will wear the top with my white jeans and yeah let's just hope that it works out okay i think doing a get dressed with me or get pretty with me in that outfit would be so much easier for me now i already know what exactly i'm going to do and yeah and i'm just going to implement them this week my only issue is regarding the location i do not know where exactly i'll be taking those photos but it's cool i hope that everything else works out and if it does i will be showing you guys slideshows or whatever of the pictures that i took and yeah that's about it it is a rainy and lazy day today and i just feel like having ice cream while finishing off a movie called anyone but you i did finish it off a little bit but then i didn't finish the rest of it because i watched the horrible or the bad quality version of it basically those movies where the person is taking a video of the film in the cinema and then you just have to watch it like i really couldn't wait for the better version because when i saw the clip on tiktok it just really made me want to watch it and i found it interesting but yeah finally the proper quality is out i checked it out on the website that i used and i'm gonna just watch it while having ice cream um if you are into romantic movies you will definitely love this movie it's basically these two people who go on a back and forth i don't want to go into it to spoil it for you guys but just know it is a really good movie and i just can't wait to finish it off and find out what is basically going to happen but i definitely know that there will be a happy ending there has to be a happy ending between these two people and yeah that's basically what i'll be doing i was in my room when those faithful words light on my screen you're trying to be tough but you are more than i can be Here is the outfit that I planned out. I'm actually quite in a hurry because we need to leave when I'm going to take pictures. Yes. Perfect. Just finished taking pictures. They were a success. And now we're going to visit my granny because it's been a while, so yeah. taking a stroll with my cousin and yeah we're in shop right right now Stop what you're doing and come dance. 
So we're going to spa and I'm going to try something new again. I know they're not new, new but somehow they new. It's either new flavors or new from like something I haven't tried from the store. That I've tried from other stores, that kind of vibe. So yeah, I think I'm going to give this segment a name because I think it's really exciting. Yo guys, I just had to leave really quickly. So this guy tells me you look so pretty mommy and then I'm like oh thank you then yeah I'm going in the shop right and then I see him by the way he was with his little brother as well thank goodness but I felt like I couldn't take the time to decide what's the new thing that I wanted to try so when I'm in the store I really want to take my time and make my decision but I just had to choose whatever I saw biscuits I was in the biscuit section and I was just looking and every section that I went I saw him anyways I'm back and it's so hot I just couldn't find the perfect lighting to continue the conversation but as I was saying so I wanted to take my time but I just felt like I just needed to leave so I took these other chocolate chip biscuits that I haven't tried I've tried the brand before and then funny enough when i went to the chip section it was like those are my favorite biscuits mommy and then <laughs> and then i was like i i didn't say anything and he's like where did you find them well then he was like no not that brand specifically but yeah where did you find them and i was like that size then i just left i paid and i left it's much better when i'm walking with my brothers by the way i have two brothers you know you know that you won't really be making conversation with other people and also no he's not cute he's okay but anyways here are the chocolate biscuits that i'm trying i don't know about you guys but i prefer very crunchy biscuits over the soft ones not bad though i'd give it like a six out of ten i can't really taste the milk drops Good morning guys i'm going to visit my best friend today that's all for the day and i just wanted to show you guys my hairstyle this is actually one of my favorite hairstyles especially with these curls <laughs> Unfortunately, we have reached the end of my YouTube video and of course I will be naming my top two favorite highlights or maybe three. I'll add another one in there. My first favorite highlight was when I went to my grandparents house. It was a really lovely and chill day. Although I didn't really capture as much, I just wanted to capture a few experiences. Also, it was my first time taking videos for my youtube channel at my granny's house so i think that needed to be celebrated as well another thing is that i love the fact that we kept the tradition of singing different songs 
for the person whose birthday is being celebrated because we were celebrating my cousin's birthday my second favorite highlight was my unfiltered gateway with me i think definitely because of the songs i loved the way i edited it um there are other creators who have done that kind of style and i think it's really it's a nice way of you know bringing vibe into a video and my third favorite highlight was when I was making lasagna with my best friend. I think it was a nice experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube video and remember...